Good morning everyone and welcome to the vlog. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing great. Swell. How are you? Good. Little girl. So we, as you can see, we're getting ready for school this morning. She's just having her breakfast and we'll change, fix hair, brush teeth and go. Um, once I drop her off, I'm actually going to go to the grocery store and get a bunch of healthy things from the grocery store. Not like, not like uh, meals or anything like that but like snacks and stuff like that. And I wanna to try to start drinking black tea, like without milk or sugar in it, because I hear it's like really good for you. And I was just doing a lot of like research last night on cholesterol. I know my cholesterol is a little high, so you know, I wanna start being an adult and being responsible and you know, taking control of these things. So no better time than now, right? I mean, I should've done it a long time ago, but I didn't. So no, t no better time than now. So, you know, I'm gonna get some uh, fruit. I've been really digging the blueberries and raspberries. Oh, God, they are so good. But I'm also gonna get some walnuts. Walnuts are really good for you. Like a handful a day is what I hear. It's good for cholesterol. And some stuff for Sophia. She needs more bread. I gotta get taco shell taco seasoning because we have everything for tacos except for the shells and the seasoning. But I'm also gonna put avocado in the taco because avocados are good for you and uh, so I might as well put some good stuff in there as well what else am I getting getting some more fruit for Sophia I also want to start taking fish oil again I used to take fish oil um, I eat fish but I usually don't eat it at home usually whenever I go out so I do get fish in my system but not enough so I, I do want to take some fish oil and I hear oats are really good for you so I'm not even sure what that means oatmeal I don't even know if that's oats or I don't know. I'm going to check it out when I'm at the store. And uh, some really, really dark chocolate and have like a small piece every day. I hear that's good too. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get some healthy things and try to act like an adult because, you know, I am an adult. Let's try to adult. Let's adult together. Unless you're a kid, then you don't have to worry about that for now. But you can start picking up habits, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to finish up here and... Uh, Take that girl to school. Gotta leave a few minutes early because I gotta get gas in my car. I don't even think I have enough gas to get to the school. Every time I kept meaning to get gas, I forget. So now I have like, it's still like 50 miles left, but still, still, I need gas. I hope you have a good day today. Have fun with the letter Y. Okay? Because I, I learned the letter Y that I was having one. Last week's. No, that uh, was Monday. That uh, was this week. Um, I I am doing it again. Yeah. Well, have fun with that letter. Yo, see what it did there? <laughs> That's not funny at all. Okay, kid is dropped off at school, so now I'm gonna go grocery shop and get that stuff done with, and uh, then I'm gonna head to the gym. I know, I know. I haven't been to the gym in a long time. So uh, the purpose of all this is it's really just heart healthy stuff. Even the working out, it's heart healthy stuff first. Obviously weight loss would, you know, be a perk of it. I do need to lose weight. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying I don't need to lose weight, but gotta get my heart in shape, you know? It's the most important muscle in my body, so you know, that's the purpose of all this, eat, trying to eat healthier things, um, get my cholesterol down, and uh, yeah, just in general, heart health. But the plan at the gym is just to go on the treadmill, treadmill for like 20 to 30 minutes, preferably 30 minutes. Um, you know, nothing too hardcore. Just, uh, you know, get my, my heart working a little bit. But first, grocery shopping. So I'm not sure, I think I'm going to go with this one, but this is the runner-up. This is a lot cheaper, but I'm not really looking for cheap, I'm just looking for good product, you know? This seems really cool and I'd like to try that, but I also really want to try this. Ugh, decisions, I hate decisions, you know? I think I might try this, because there's less in here. When this is done, I could try that one. I don't know guys, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go with this simply because... I can't make a decision, so this is fine. Got my berries, 
Okay, fish oil time. Look at this big bottle. Dang. Alright, I... The only difference I see is 1400 milligrams and 1200. I don't know what the difference is. This one has vitamin D in it. Do I need vitamin D? I don't know. Alright, I went with this one because of a basic Google search that I just did. So, there you go. Oh, what the heck? I have two. Whoops. My bad. Just need one. Okay, I got some oats. I'm gonna look for some walnuts. Like some unsalted walnuts. Let's see. Found it. Wow, it's expensive. Twelve ninety nine. Damn. Ugh. That's annoying. Now my favorite part: dark chocolate. And from what I understand, the lower the number, the better. The more bitter it's gonna be, but the better it is for you, and that's the goal. Sixty, I guess, is pretty good. I don't know how low they go. Probably lower, but sixty is good. So the price you pay for eating healthy is pretty discouraging. It's expensive, but you really got to think of it as an investment of your life. And it's worth it. Anybody's life is worth it. So, 81 bucks for three bags full of stuff. I mean, granted, a lot of this stuff, the expensive stuff, will last me a long time, like the walnuts. I'm only going to have like a small handful a day because they do have a lot of calories. But just to get a little bit in my body every day is a good idea. The tea, there's like 50 bags in it. It's going to last me forever. So anyway, I'm about to head home. Put all this stuff away. Chain it in my sweatpants. On my gym clothes or whatever. And hit the gym. Holy cow, this pill is huge. Look at this thing. Dang. Well, I'm going to take it with a meal later. So I'm not going to take it yet. But wow, these things are huge. Uh-oh. Oh, these are cool. They're little discs. <laughs> so I'm actually going to make a bigger batch with three bags so I can actually have some of these cold. They say to have not just one cup, but like, you know, a couple, a few cups a day is like good for you. So <clears throat> it'll be like my drink sometimes around the house. So uh, yeah, I'm going to make three batches, put them in the fridge so they're nice and cold. I feel like I would enjoy cold tea over hot tea right now so yeah boiling the water and if this works out I actually like the tea and stuff like that after a few days I'll get a tea kettle it'll be a lot easier than boiling and then I gotta pour it from this pot and it doesn't have like a spout so it spills everywhere hot boiling water not a good idea so the reason I want to drink tea black like without any sugar or milk in it. Not only is milk and sugar, you know, not necessarily a good thing to add to something, you're getting extra sugar, but it's not even that. They say that drinking the black tea is better because when you add sugar and milk, it binds to the good stuff that's in the black tea so that it kind of counteracts the good stuff that's in the black tea. So that's why I'm gonna try to drink it black, but I also bought lemons. So lemon will also go in there, will help, will help it not be so like bitter or whatever probably tastes really good and they say by adding lemons it's, it makes it even better so that's what I'm gonna try I'm about to steep it it's almost boiling okay we have a boil turn that off pop these in there one two three four minutes all right it says three to five minutes so four minutes we'll try okay tea is all done I'm gonna leave it on the stove to you know cool down a little bit before I actually get it in the fridge Got my headphones. I'm gonna have a little snack of raspberries and blueberries. Get changed and head to the gym. All right, that was a nice little rest for five minutes, but I got my gym pants on, my gym clothes. Those berries were so good. Oh my God, I don't know why it took me this long in my life to realize that blueberries and raspberries are so good. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this camera here. If I do record a, you know, a quick little clip or whatever, um, I'll use my phone, because I'm gonna have my phone with me for music. And yeah, I'm gonna go. All right, I'm done with the hamster wheel. I got 30 minutes, one and a half miles at a three mile per hour pace, I guess, 5% incline. And, and I'm feeling good, so yeah, yeah. I'm just lowering the speed slowly so I don't put my body into shock. Oh man, that feels so weird to work out, but you know what, it feels so good. Wow, I can't wait to do this more often. So I'm gonna try to do that multiple times a week 
eventually get my speed up and incline up, maybe do it for longer. But I'm not really concerned about the speed right now. I really just want to get my heart rate up. So I don't know if it's a good after gym snack or not. I'm only having it really because I can't wait to try it. I'm really kind of nervous about it. It's steel cut oats, but it's no flavor. I think it's just gonna be very, very bland and plain. So I'm gonna try it just to see what it tastes like plain. And then maybe I'll look up online of like things I can add to it. Obviously, I guess I could put berries in it, which would be cool because I'm into berries right now and the picture has berries. But uh, I'm gonna try it out, see how it is. Uh, I've only ever had oatmeal that was like flavored with like maple syrup, butter, whatever whatever that one's called. So I gotta put this, one third of a cup of oats, three quarters of a cup of water, dash of salt, and then microwave for two and a half to three minutes. All right, there it is. Oh yeah, yeah. So if any of you have, I mean I didn't even try it yet, but I know it's gonna be bland, but if anybody out there eats oats, what can I add to it that's, you know, doesn't really reverse the health effects of oats? But, you know, makes it a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. Is honey a bad thing to add to it? Is that weird? I'd rather not add, like, sugar. I'd rather add, like, I don't know, get some, like, natural honey or something like that. But anyway, taste test. It's a little hot. Oh, well. Wow, that's bland. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Anybody have any ideas to spice this up a little bit? How about cinnamon? Is that weird? I might try it on a spoonful first. No, 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 oh, I almost grabbed the cayenne pepper. That would be weird. That would be definitely be weird. Same color though. Paprika, also the same color. Read your labels, kids. There we go. Okay, a little bit of cinnamon on there. It doesn't really change it much. Honestly, I don't even taste the cinnamon very much. Okay, so this little bit has honey mixed into it. Makes it a little bit better. A little better. All right. I'm gonna put honey in the rest of it and gobble this up. That was actually really delicious, guys, with the honey in there. Just enough, like, like, Sugar to make it taste good. I liked it. Yes. And like the amateur gym goer that I am, I forgot to bring water with me. So as you can imagine, I'm pretty thirsty. All right, that sweaty beast took a shower. Feels so much better. Oh my God, I feel so good with like healthy food in my body and a shower and worked out. Not really the shower, but the working out part. Oh. So before I go pick her up, I have like a little less than an hour or about an hour. I'm gonna fold the laundry, but I have 15 minutes till that's ready. So I am going to vacuum. Yay. Okay, so I need a better system for this. I need, a, I, need, I need to get a lid for this mason jar, but I like this. At least I can cool it off in the fridge. Cause you know, I want them cold. I don't want them hot right now. So um, I'm gonna take a half a lemon, squeeze it in here. Throw some ice cubes because it's not entirely cold, cold. And then uh, I'm gonna go pick up Sophia. Okay, it's time for a taste test. I know it's gonna be bitter. I know it's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, that's delicious. Maybe it will, but I know I'm gonna have to get used to it over the next few days, um, cause this is really healthy to drink. So, taste test. There's a half a lemon in there. I don't know if that's too much. I like lemon, so we'll see. That is really good. Wow. I did not expect it that good. A little too much lemon. So instead of squeezing it that hard, I'll just squeeze it a little bit. Maybe I'll just do like a quarter lemon or something like that. I'm impressed. Ah, oh, that makes it so much better if I actually like it. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's something I've been meaning to get since I got the new car. Uh, this right here, guys, is a fancy GoPro mount for my car. So Liz's car was in the driveway, so I'll take her car. But guys, I feel amazing today. And honestly, let me get let me talk to you for a minute. Honestly, I couldn't have said that in a very long time. Feeling amazing. Not happy. I don't mean happy. Like, I'm always happy. I like, you know, I love my family and just love my life, you know. You gotta appreciate your life. But like, I think just eating crappy food and junk food constantly for a long time has caught up with me. I feel like I have been feeling a little depressed lately. I feel like I have been feeling my energy levels have been way down. Way down. Really, really down. Like crazy. And that's, I know that's just not me. The mood, like the unhappiness, um, you know, the depressed feeling is not me. The energy down is not me. Usually I have, you know, good energy. But I think just the months and even years of just eating crappy food has finally, like, caught up to me. Like, I started thinking recently, like, I'm going to get a heart attack. I'm If I keep this up, I'm not going to live very long. So it kind of scared me a little bit. And uh, I needed to take action. And I needed to take action right away. This was, like, a few days ago. So I've been kind of researching slowly about things and cholesterol's been on my mind because I know I have higher cholesterol and uh, so yeah. And today I feel amazing. I don't know if it's because of my new outlook on how I treat my body and what I put in my body or the good food has already kind of started working its magic. Because you know I've been eating, the, I haven't been eating completely healthy until today. Um, you know, but the past couple days I've been eating berries and, you know, not eating junk food. So, you know, my body has started to slowly go on the healthier side, I guess. And then I, I also hear that working out gives you energy. I worked out today, maybe that's why. But I'm just like full of energy. I'm happy. And going back to the whole depressed feeling. Depression is a serious thing. I don't have complete full depression. I never had depression. I never had a problem with depression. But lately, I've been feeling down. And little things will tick me off. And not even things that are worth it. Stupid little things I can't even give you an example of. Made me upset. And I'd be like pissed off for like a long time. And I don't like that. So, trying to reverse this. I'm going to go get Sophia now. Um, I'm probably going to end the vlog now because... This vlog is probably long enough. Um, tonight for dinner, I'm going to have tacos. And that may not sound like the healthiest thing. But one, we're not having red meat. We're having ground turkey. Um, a little bit of sour cream, a little bit of cheese on there. Because personally, I love sour cream on my Mexican food. And then there's tomatoes and avocado, which are good. So it's really not that bad. And uh, what I, I don't know, I forget what kind of tortillas I got. I guess I think they're corn tortillas. Probably not the greatest, but anyway, I hope I can inspire some of you guys out there to put the cupcake down, stop eating the ice cream, the frozen pizza. They're delicious. Believe me, I know. Believe me, I know. I'll say that twice. But uh, hopefully I can maybe sway some of you to eat healthier. And uh, I think I'll probably continue showing you guys what I do. Maybe not as focused as today's vlog was, but, you know, here and there I'll show you what I'm eating and what I'm buying, what I'm trying out. And, yeah, this vlog has gotten on way too long. This dialogue right now has gone on way too long. I'm going to spare you all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, if you were swayed in any way and you want to start eating healthy with me. Come along for the ride. Come on. Come on. I need help. I need partners with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Did you have a fun day at school? Do you remember what's for dinner? Taco. Taco night! You good? Everything's good with you? Do you want to say goodbye to the vlog? I already ended it. Mommy's car is cool. Uh, bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Mommy's car is cool. Bye. <laughs> Daddy talked way too long today in the vlog, so we had to end it early. Sorry.